Hey guys, today we're going over how to set up Maya for Unity. We're going to cover how to use Maya's Send to Unity feature to help us export, as well as matching the scale in the two programs. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are inside of Maya. And the first thing we want to do is uh, link the two projects um, in Maya and Unity to make our exporting process easier. So I'm going to go up here um, where it says File, and I'm going to go down um, to Send to Unity, and I'm going to choose Set Unity Project. After that, we just need to navigate where we keep our Unity project. So I'm going to go where mine is, and your path will be different, of course. I'm going to choose my project, choose select, and then that's all there is to it. The two programs are linked now. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is um, check the scale in the two programs and try and match them if possible. So um, when it comes to matching the scale, something I like to do at the start of production before I make any art assets is I make a cube in Maya. I'll take it into Unity and compare the two. So here's my cube that I just created. I'm going to go up here to File. And now that we have our project link, I can, linked, I can choose the Send to Unity uh, feature, choose Selection. Um, I've created a Meshes folder inside of Unity already, so now we just need to put it in there. So export it. Um, I'm going to name it Maya Cube 1. And then if you scroll down here, um, these are the default. Um, it's units automatic, right? We're just going to leave that as is. So I'm going to choose Export. And then let's jump inside of Unity and compare the two. So here's my Maya cube inside my Meshes folder. And I'm going to create a Unity cube. So I'm going to right click the hierarchy, choose cube. Um, and then I'm just going to reset this position. So reset. And I'm going to drag my Maya cube into the scene. So and then let's pull the Maya cube off to the side. And as you can see, um, it doesn't look like you can see it, but if we zoom in and frame in on it, um, we can see that it's there. It's just really small. It's um, 1 100th of the size. Uh, Maya's working units are centimeters by default, and Unity is meters. Um, so um, we can fix the scale up here, and um, I'll just show you what that looks like. So I'm just going to change this to 100, 100, and 100. And now the two of them match. And this works um, to change scales, you know, like if you need to adjust things minor in a minor way. But as a best practice, um, it's best not to use this as a, a method just because um, you can get really large and small scale values that can affect other aspects of development, um, possibly with physics or animation. So um, what I'm going to do is, um, Instead of doing this method, what I'll do is I'll choose my Maya cube and I'll go into the import settings and I can here I can change the scale factor. So if I change this by 100 um, and then I hit apply, now my Maya cube is actually the same size as the uh, Unity cube. So if I go up here to the Maya cube, you can see that the scale gets uh, maintained as 1, 1, 1, which is kind of like what we want for most objects. Um, the downside of this is that um, you'll have to do it for each object, and if you're also bringing in assets from different programs, um, you might have to change it back and forth, right, um, in the import settings. So um, what we want to do is, um, if we can, change it inside of Maya, so we only have to do it once, right? So let's um, change the scale ba factor back to 1, and just hit apply. Um, and we're gonna go back inside of Maya and see how we do that. All right, so here we are back inside of Maya and I'm gonna delete the cube that I had there earlier. And um, to match the scale of Maya to Unity, we're gonna go up here to Windows on this tab, go down to Settings and Preferences and choose Preferences. Next, we're gonna go down here where it says Settings and we're gonna change the linear working units from centimeter to meter. We're going to hit save. I'm just going to zoom out. And there, that, that part is done. Oh, it's half done. Um, there's some 
um, thing that you'll notice though is that when you zoom out, um, what's happened now is that um, the far clipping plane gets clipped a little bit early. So we're going to fix that first. Go up here to the outliner and choose your perspective camera. And in the attribute editor here on the right, we're going to change the far clipping plane from 100 to 100,000. I find that works for me. Um, and I changed the near clipping plane to 0 0.01. Um, all right, so now we can see our grid perfect. And let's create our cube. So we'll get a create a cube now. And let's send this to Unity and compare the two. So I'm going to choose the cube again, go up to File, um, Send to Unity Selection. And there's one more thing we need to do is that we need to go down here to Units, uncheck Automatic, and change it from Meters to Centimeters, if, it's, if it was at Meters. Um, it should be Centimeters at default, though. Um, and then we're going to um, Export. So we're going to call this one Maya Cube 2 and choose Export Selection. And then let's go inside of Unity. And then let's drag our Maya Cube 2 into the scene. And here is the Maya Cube 2. I'm going to pull it off to the side. And as you can see, now it's the same size as um, the Unity Cube. We have a scale of 1, 1, 1. And in the Export settings, it's also a scale factor of 1. So that's really all there is to it for matching the scale. Um, if you guys have found this useful, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.